Hi folks, this video tutorial walks through how we can make two of these parts at once on our Tormach using multiple offsets. In other words, the left part will be G54 and the right part will be G55. We've got our part programmed to run multiple offsets. Right click on the setup, choose edit, and under post process, you need to do two things. Your off WC offset is probably set to zero. It's a little bit of a quirk, but you need to change that to one. Zero and one will both post to G54, but you can't do the next step, which is to increment it uh, if this is set at zero. In fact, you'll probably get an error that looks like this, which says warning multiple work offsets used in program, which is ironic because that's exactly what I wanted to do. So make sure your WC offset is set at one, so then all we do is set the WC offset duplicates to two. So that's going to duplicate this code across G54 and G55. The other thing you probably want to do is change the operation order to order by tool. So in our case, the first operation is facing it with tool 47. Well, while that tool is in the machine, I want it to face both parts. The opposite of this would be having it run the full part through with all the tool changes and then coming back and doing the other one. Again, most of the times, or at least oftentimes, when we're doing a G54, G55, we want to make use of fewer manual or even automated tool changes. So order by tool is the way to go. We have never had a problem with this causing any sort of a crash or any sort of a situation where uh, material hasn't been machined and the tool is presented to that material. Nevertheless, something to be conscious of. After that, believe, believe it or not, we're done. We'll post this out. And the first thing that I like to do is just look through the first snippet of code so I can see I'm doing the facing at G54, and then right here below is the identical facing operation except it's occurring at G55. So back at the machine, we've got our Heimer in the machine. For me, that's tool 99, so that's really important to make sure you set that when we're doing to set our Z height. Now we're going to set up the left part first and we're going to set that as G54. You can set either one to whichever you like. Anytime you're doing this, you've gotta be super careful to pay attention to what current offset your machine is in. I guarantee you someone who's new to this has probably crashed their machine by accident by not realizing they were in G55 or G56. So you can see it in the status bar. We're gonna make sure we move into G54 by just typing it in MDI. So now we just jog down and set up our part like we normally would. So we're done with our left part, jog over to the right part, and then we're going to type G55 to tell the machine we're now going to set up G55. Now we just do the same thing. Now, before we're done, let's make use of the information within PathPilot to do a sanity check. Our Y zero of these two parts should actually be the same position because the modular vice system we're using pins into the fixture plate. So really the Y should be almost identical. And if we measure center to center, they should be about 8.75 inches off in X. And the Z should be almost identical as well. So if you hop into offsets, go to the top of your screen and click work. And we can now see we've got a G54 and we've got a G55 line. 12.831 minus 4.068 is 8.76. Perfect. Uh, exact same Y. You saw that we measured that. That's really awesome. And within a, within a thou uh, or so on Z, awesome. Card here to the NYC CNC website. We'll post the link to this file here and we'll have any more information or follow up if you need help on running multiple work coordinate systems in Fusion 360. Thanks folks, hope you learned something. Take care, see you next Wednesday.